The Idaho National Laboratory has worked with NASA for years to help fuel their space missions and their latest project, preparing the next rover launch to Mars. So joining me right now to talk about this mission is Harmon Veselka, and he's a mechanical engineer for the Idaho National Laboratory. Very exciting. When I heard about this, Harmon, I have to tell you, I thought this was incredibly cool. It is. To know that we have this type of involvement and role here in Idaho. So help us understand, though, what is INL's role in em empowering the 2020 Mars mission? Well, uh, it is exciting, and before I get to our role, I should probably tell you a little bit about the INL. Yes, please. Uh, it's the Idaho National Laboratory. We're located about 30 miles from Idaho Falls, mm -hmm. and uh, we're a multi-mission lab. We do lots of different research uh, in many areas, biomass, clean energy, um, but we are the nation's uh, center for the research and development of nuclear fuel and materials. Wow. Uh, but you asked specifically about Mars 2020. Yes. So for 2020, our role is we assemble, we do the final assembly and testing of the power source for the rover uh, wow. and then deliver it to NASA. That is mind blowing. I mean, we're so lucky to have INL here in the state of Idaho because it's such a major national role like you mentioned. But to know that, you know, your efforts are actually impacting beyond our world is incredible. Okay, so I do need to know though, what is MMRTG All and right. how does it work? So the MMRTG is just the acronym for the bat, the generator that goes uh, on the rover. Okay. And the RTG is really the functional part of it. It's a multi-mission RTG, so radioisotope thermoelectric generator. Okay. The, the radioisotope part um, is because we use an isotope of plutonium, plutonium-238, for the heat source or the energy source. Uh, it's a thermoelectric uh, system that converts that energy into electricity, and uh, that makes it a generator, so RTG. Wow. So. That's amazing. Okay. Plutonium. I have to admit, the first time I heard about that was in Back to the Future, because that's what they <laughs> used to, 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 to fuel the right. DeLorean, right? right? Okay, but this is actually being used to fuel the rover yes. on Mars. Okay. Now, you mentioned INL is located in Idaho Falls, but you're actually here in Boise because there's some opportunities for people to come and learn about this in so, person. So, yeah, you're right. Tonight, uh, from 4 to 7, we're going to be at the Discovery Center. Uh -huh. um, we've got a model, a full-size model of the generator. We've got wow. some hands-on activities. We'll be there. There's a crew of us to talk and, and educate and teach. Um, is this the rover right here that we're looking at right this now? This is. So right on the very back, you can see the finned piece. Um, it, it's just in the very back. That's our mm -hmm. generator. That's what we assemble and test and deliver uh, to NASA before, before no it kidding. leaves Earth. That's absolutely incredible. Okay, so people though, so you had mentioned Discovery Center. They can go, they can talk to you about this in person. I know there's so many people watching right now that are intrigued and I imagine some young minds too that are really into this that would love to know more. So is there another opportunity as well besides the Discovery Center or is this the chance? There is, there's a Children's Center in Meridian. Okay. Um, I honestly can't remember the exact title, but it's mm -hmm. the Children's Museum of Idaho and we'll be there from 10.30 to 11 tomorrow. Okay. Uh, similar setup, interactive, come talk to us. It's really cool and uh, it's, it's a lot simpler and easier to learn about than you would think. I bet, yes, I imagine. And these events too are free. I wanna point that out as well yes. to our viewers because of what a great opportunity to get your kids excited and interested in STEM and realizing that we have a reach beyond our state, beyond our nation, beyond the world. Well, it is, and then yeah. the beauty of it is that it's right here in Idaho. Like yes. we, we that work at the Idaho National Lab get to live in Idaho Falls and mm -hmm. work at a national lab on really cool stuff. Um, and our department lead and, and our management supports us going out into the community and, and um, bringing up the next generation of uh, engineers and scientists and, and tradesmen yes. that work together to, to yes. take our country uh, into the next... Uh, into new worlds. Into the new right? worlds. Into thank new you. worlds there. Harmon, thank you so much. I'm inspired. I know our viewers are inspired. I just want to let you all know, too. If you want to learn more about the project, we put a link for you on the hot link section of our website. A lot more to come right here on the News at Noon right after the break. Harmon, thank, thank you. Thank you. That is so awesome. Seriously. I'm